I am a tree. Kids yoga with Global Family Yoga. Welcome, friends. I'm glad you're here. Today, we have a yoga practice called I Am a Tree. So what are trees like? They're grounded, they're stable, they're strong, and they're connected to earth. Trees also provide a lot for us and other animals. They hold the earth in place, they provide shade on a sunny day, and they also provide a home for birds and other animals. One thing I love about trees is the fruit and the flowers and the nuts that they provide for us. So let's be a tree. We'll start by ringing the magic listening bells. You can hear the sound. You can maybe even feel the vibration of sound in your body. So see if you can feel that and listen for the sound to end. Let's plug into the earth. It's a great way to feel like a tree. So you're going to make a peace sign with your first two fingers sticking up, and then you're going to touch those two fingers to the earth. Feel your connection to earth and feel your breath flowing in your body. Feel your energy flowing down into the ground and the earth's energy flowing into you. Did you know that we breathe with the trees? What do we need to breathe in? Oxygen, right? Well, did you know that trees breathe oxygen out? And we breathe out carbon dioxide, and that's what a tree wants to breathe in. So trees are like our breathing buddies. Let's put our hands on our belly and feel your breath filling into your belly as you breathe in, and feel your breath flowing out of your body as you breathe out. Breathe in a full breath and breathe out. One more full breath into your belly and out. I really love trees. When I'm outside in nature, I feel more joyful. So let's stand up together and do breath of joy. We're going to coordinate our breath with our arm movements. So I'm going to stand sideways so you can see me. I'm going to swing my arms forward and then back and then up and I'm going to flop forward. Swing arms forward, back, up and flop. I'm going to breathe in, in, in and out. <laughs> Let's do one more together and flop. Let your arms and head hang loose. Feel your breath flowing slowly within you. And then roll all the way up to standing. Sun feeds the trees and all of the plants on earth. So let's take a moment to give thanks to the sun with our sun salutations. Stand like a mountain with your feet directly below your hips, pressing evenly into the ground and the top of your head floating up to the sky. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and as you breathe in, sweep your arms open and watch your hands meet overhead. And then sweep your arms to the side as you lead with your heart and fold forward. Put your hands on your shins and come halfway up with a long flat back to be a monkey. And then put your hands on the ground, step both feet back. This is called the plank pose. Your whole body is straight and strong from your shoulders to your heels. And then lower your whole body down. Let the tops of your feet and forehead rest on the floor. Breathe in. Lift your heart. Lift your head. Look up to be a snake. Turn your toes under. Lift your hips up and back and stretch like a dog. Nice, comfortable stretch the whole back side of your body. And then walk like a lumbering bear up to your hands. Breathe in. Come halfway up. Breathe out, fold in half. Breathe in, sweep your arms out to the sides to come up to standing. Watch your hands meet and bring your hands to your heart. That's it. Let's do a couple more of those. Breathe in, open your wings. Breathe out, fold in half. Hands on your shins and halfway up to be a monkey. And then plant your hands and step back to plank. Straight and strong. Lower your whole body to the ground, forehead and tops of the feet rest. Breathe in to be a snake. 
breathe out, and stretch like a dog. You can even bark and wag your tail if you'd like. Woof, woof, woof. Walk your feet to your hands. Breathe in, come halfway up. Breathe out, fold again. Breathe in, sweep your arms open, and hands to heart. Let's go a little bit faster. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, plant your hands, step back, lower down as you breathe out. Breathe in, and then hiss like a snake. Breathe out, stretch back to downward facing dog. You can step up or you can bend your knees, look through your hands and carefully hop both feet at the same time. Halfway up, breathe out, fold, breathe in, reach your arms up, hands to heart, let's go a little bit faster. Reach up, fold down, halfway up, step back, lower down, be a snake, then a dog, step or jump to your hands, halfway up monkey, fold again, reach up high, touch the sky, hands to heart. Thank you, Sam. That feels good. It helps our body to be warm and shining bright like the sun. Trees are very powerful. And one of the strongest yoga poses there is, is triangle pose. So we're going to step our feet wide, turn your right toes out 90 degrees, and push your back heel back a little bit. And then reach your arms out at shoulder height, reach out over your front leg, rest your hand on your shin, and stack your top arm above your bottom arm. Straight arms straight legs, strong and steady in triangle shape. Feel your breath in your belly. Hold steady and strong for three, two, one. Reach up to come up, make your feet parallel and change to the other side. Now your left foot is 90 degrees, your back foot is pushing away. Reach your arms out, Strong and straight arms and legs reach out over your front leg and tip into a triangle shape. Stretch your fingertips in opposite direction. Press your feet down into the ground and feel your breath in your belly. Hold steady and strong for three, two, one. Reach up to come up, make your feet parallel and jump your feet together. It's time to do tree pose. You might already know this yoga pose. We're gonna lean our weight into one foot. First, find something to look at, nice and steady. So your eyes are steady, so your body can be steady too. And then turn the bottom of your other foot to the inside of your leg, right on your calf muscle or your thigh muscle, but please stay off of your knee. Your knee doesn't wanna go sideways. So push your foot into your leg and your leg into your foot. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and feel your roots growing deep into the earth, steady and strong like a tree. If you'd like, you can let your branches grow and let your leaves flutter in the breeze. Well, what kind of a tree are you today? I feel like I'm an oak tree. Let's try the other side. Both feet on the ground, feel equal weight on both of your feet and then switch to the other side. Put your weight onto this foot Bring the bottom of your other foot to the inside of your calf muscle or your thigh muscle, but not your knee, and bring your hands together in front of your heart. Keep your eyes steady. Feel your breath flowing. Remember, trees are breathing with people, and people are breathing with trees. You can, if you want to, let your branches grow, and let your leaves flutter in the breeze, and think about what it's like to be a tree. And then you can bring your hands down and feel equal weight on both feet. Now, what is a tree before it's a tree? It's a seed, right? So we're gonna come down into the seed pose with our knees on the ground, our hips on our heels, and our ribs resting on our thighs, the forehead resting softly on the floor. So imagine you're a seed in the ground. The rich soil is nourishing you, and you feel the rain tapping on your back. And if you have a friend with you, you can have them tap your back to make the rain. And then the sun comes out and the seed starts to grow. The sprout emerges as a taproot begins to press down into the earth. And as the sun shines and the rain comes and the soil nourishes the seed, it continues to grow into a bigger sprout and then a sapling and a little tree. And it grows and grows and grows to become a big, beautiful tree. So you can lift your foot up to your leg and come into the tree pose. And then after some time, some trees, the leaves will change colors. And so you can imagine that you're a leaf changing colors and then the wind comes by and plucks it off the tree and you flutter to the ground. And that leaf becomes part of the nourishing soil that feeds the next seed 
that's going to become another tree. So here you are again, a seed in the ground. You feel your root growing into the earth as your sprout begins to reach for the sunlight and you grow and you grow. And this time you can bring your other foot up to be a tree on the other side. Bring your hands together in front of your heart or let your branches grow. Beautiful tree growing through the seasons and then the seasons change and the leaves change color and they're plucked from the tree by the wind and they flutter to the ground. You can rest like a seed and feel your breath in your belly and the weight of your body on the floor. Let's come back up to standing and do two more tree poses. The next tree pose is blown palm. So in some parts of the world, palm trees grow. There's hundreds of different kinds of palm trees. So have your feet directly below your hips, standing like a mountain, and then reach overhead and grab your wrist, lift up and lean off to the side like a palm tree. Breathe into your side ribs as you feel them stretch. Come back to center and change sides. Grab your other wrist, lift it up, and off to the side. Feel a nice stretch through the side of your body and breathe into that stretch. One more time on each side. Change your grasp, lift your wrists, and lean off to the side. Keep your body facing forward and don't tip off to the side. And also keep equal weight on both feet as you take a big breath and up. Change sides, lift up out of your waist, lean off to the side and take a big breath into that side stretch. Ah, I feel taller after being a palm tree. And then we're gonna be a bamboo tree. I'll turn sideways so you can see me. Bamboo has a sturdy trunk and then a nice long leaf. So hang forward with your sturdy legs and your torso, that's the center of your body, and your arms and your head just hanging loose like a bamboo tree. Anytime you're feeling like you need to calm yourself down or quiet down, you can just hang like a bamboo tree for a few moments and feel your breath and remember that you're breathing with the trees and they're breathing with you. Style through your feet and slowly roll up to standing. Did you know that tigers live in trees? So let's do the tiger pose. We're going to reach up. Fold forward and just walk your feet forward so you're in the downward facing dog pose. Stretch the back side of your body and then bring your knees to the ground. So for tiger, we're going to reach one arm out and the opposite leg out. Now that might feel super wobbly for you and if so, you want to have the knee that's on the ground and the hand a little bit further apart so you have a wider base. Rawr, one arm and opposite leg. I'm a tiger in a tree, rawr. Let's do the other side. Reach one arm out and the opposite leg, the leg on the other side of your body. Rawr. Let's do it one more time on each side. Reach your arm and a leg. If you want to challenge yourself, you can reach back and try to hold your toe. Rawr. Let's do the other side. One arm, opposite leg, stretch. Roar. Option to reach back and grab that toe. That's a challenge. You might want to try it a few times before you get it. Rawr and stretch back and rest like a seed. We're gonna sit up and do a simple twist. So I'll sit cross legs on the floor and I'm gonna take my left hand and put it behind me with my fingertips facing away. I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna reach across my body, hold on to the outside of my knee, and use my hand against my knee to turn all the way around. I'm gonna look behind as far as I can for a nice twist. Sit up tall as you breathe in, and twist further as you breathe out. Come back to center and let's do the other side. I'm gonna take my right hand and put it behind me with my fingertips facing away. Take my left hand across my body and use my hand against my leg to twist. Sit up tall as you breathe in and twist as you breathe out. Ah, it feels good. Now let's just rest for a moment. Lie down on the ground. You can have your knees bent or your legs straight. If your legs are straight, have your feet slightly wide and have your palms up out away from you, your whole body resting evenly on the ground. 
Feel the weight of your heels resting on the ground. Feel the backs of your legs resting on the ground. Feel your bottom and your back heavy on the ground. The back of the hands, the back of the arms, and the back of the head. Whole body resting on the ground. Feel your breath flowing in and out. In and out. Imagine you're lying underneath the tree outside in the grass. You feel the tree supporting you, the roots beneath you, and protecting you with the branches overhead. Let your mind and body be quiet for just a moment. Wiggle your toes and fingers. Feel your breath in your body as you begin to move and stretch. And bend your knees and roll off to your side. Slowly press all the way up to sitting. It sure feels good to be a tree. Let's finish our yoga practice by plugging into the earth one more time. So make a peace sign with your two fingers sticking up and the other two fingers are held down by your thumb and then plug into the earth. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders, and feel the connection that you make to the earth, rooted, stable, and strong like a tree. And if you'd like to, grab some paper and some drawing supplies and draw yourself as a tree. I am a tree and draw a picture of what that feels like to you right now. Thanks so much for joining us for this yoga practice. Om Shanti Namaste.